Uh, since the rains began, residents of Sukimau have been grappling with flood waters that have disrupted transportation, schools and businesses. They have pleaded with uh, the contractor to finish up work on the road that began back in July this year, but nothing has been forthcoming. Victoria Rubadiri has more from the streets of Sukimau that one could easily mistake for Venice, Italy. At first glance, one would think this is a boat ride along a river, perhaps. Well, this isn't a boat and this isn't a river. We are riding in this vehicle on what should be Kyungani Road in Siokimau. This has been the state of the 1.1-kilometer road since the El Nino rains began. I'm sure you've seen it for yourself. The roads are really bad. Communities are not able to get back home. We park our cars three, four, four kilometers away from here. Uh, kids are not able to go to you know, tuition areas and those places. Churches have been, far, been closed. We have about six churches and two mosques on this road. All of them have been closed. Nobody will be able to really even go for prayers. If one doesn't have a four-wheel drive vehicle like this one, you are literally a sitting duck. Mohammed says attempts to convince the contractor to fix the situation have been futile. In the last three weeks, uh, together with Kura Engineer, we've really engaged him and he's been promising and Tafanya Kesho and Tafanya Kesho Kutua. Uh, as we speak today, he has picked up the last uh, machine that was on the ground, the grader. So we really even don't know how long we are going to stay like this. The school had to close once the road flooded, though staff are still required to show up. Uh, this, it's just a nightmare. Some of them have to walk through this. And for those of us who drive... We have to use a very long route and park at a neighbor's place, then walk from the neighbor's place. Businesses here are unable to carry out their normal activities with goods and customers unable to access them. <laughs> The contractor, Reen Ret Enterprises Limited, is expected to complete works by April next year. When we reached out to the individual that residents say is the contractor responsible for the works, the response was... No, me, I just give them machines. You give them machines? Yes. You're not the contractor? Yes. No. And you have no relation to Rinret Enterprises? No, 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 no. I'm not a director there. The work is funded by Kura, or the Kenya Urban Roads Authority. However, this is all the contractor has to show for it since July this year. Residents often use the alternative that is a link through St. Veronica Catholic Church to connect to Community Road that is in slightly better condition. Because now the church actually, you know, like uh, it's about the only connection between this road and the other side there. Because sometimes you find that individuals have to try, I mean, endeavor to pass through the church so that they can access the other road, the other side, which uh, comes with its, its own inconveniences, uh, its own security issues probably to the church. The contract for community road that passes in front of the church was to cover 7.5 kilometers. The project was issued five years ago through Kera or or the Kenya Rural Roads Authority. Oh, well, uh, I don't think I've been in an estate where it's worse than here, honestly speaking. Uh, it's so bad that even when you call an Uber, they have to ask first where you are. Because if you're anywhere off Katani Road, because Katani Road is like the only road which is tarmacked within Siokimau, all the other roads have not been tarmacked. Residents say the contractor left the work incomplete two years ago subsequently leading to the cancellation of the contract and no way forward from Kera. For now, this is the state of affairs in Siokimau for as long as the rains persist. Victoria Rubadiri, Citizen TV. Such a dire situation right there in Siokimau.